Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. So we're down here in the apiary and uh, we're doing some quick inspections and checking up on our hives here in the fall. And uh, we've had a couple fail on us and uh, this is my only uh, single deep left other than Hive 29 over there. So uh, I had a single deep over there that failed and I thought it was doing okay. It had some feed on it and it, it was doing good last I checked. and and today it's gone so uh gonna check this hive uh it's my last single deep just to do a quick inspection uh i got the entrance reduced down pretty good i see uh, some good activity there so we just want to get in here do a quick queen check health check on this hive and make sure it's doing good and uh, make sure it's going to make it through winter and do okay so you can see there we got some decent activity on the front Got lots of guard bees for that small space, so they're doing well. So it's kind of discouraging. It's been kind of a tough year for uh, maintaining hives, but uh, for honey, we we had the best year we had so far. But uh, I'd say just overall beekeeping, it's been one of the toughest. This looks pretty good here. So we've been feeding this hive. We got us a feeder here. Not a bunch of hive beetles, just saw a few. So they're doing well there. So this is a uh, frame feeder. I think this one holds a gallon and a half. And I got some sticks in there for floats. <laughs> Wife and the dogs going to uh, Home Depot to buy flowers. All right. So that's an empty comb. Got a few beetles running around in there. It's a little bit of nectar stored there. And we got nectar all around here bunch of high beetles right there we need to get a beetle blaster in here for them got uh uncapped nectar here and capped this may be sugar water we're in the fall flow now too so they're bringing in a little bit got us uh, some capped brood here i don't see any larvae just the capped brood so I'm liking what I'm seeing so far here. Got a capped brood here and a few uncapped larvae. Exact same thing on this side. So this hive was a split hive. So you can see a dot here and the letters TP right here. So that means I transplanted a queen cell right there, a swarm cell out of another hive. So this is a hive that uh, started from a split early this year. Lots of brood on this frame, a lot of uncapped in here, capped, and they're sticking some yellow pollen in there. And same thing on this side. Lots of brood in this hive. Here's our queen right here. She's marked blue, so she's this year's queen. She looks good. Nice, big, and healthy. So let's get her back in there. So as I put this frame in there, I'm watching that queen where she's at. Right now, she's over here on the edge of the frame, and I'd rather have her over this direction. 
So I just keep my eye on her and make sure I don't close that frame down on her. When I push the two frames together, there's no bee in there in between. So she's safe between those two frames. I've seen all I need to see to know this hive's in pretty good shape. Let's look at this frame right here real quick and see how much stores is on it. Man, look at all the yellow pollen. <laughs> and this side's about half full of nectar. So uh, for that population and all the brood that's in there that's going to hatch out, they need more uh, stores. So we're going to feed them some more. So I'm going to get a hive top feeder on these. And I'm going to take a frame from... Uh, some of those uh, failed hives over there and get rid of this uh, frame feeder here. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. So I just need one more frame. No, there's eight. Three, four, five, six. I need two frames. So we'll do that. We'll get a hive top feeder on here. I'm out of nectar, but I'll go ahead and uh, put the feeder on here. So I got us a couple of frames from Hive 19. These are robbed out uh, honey frames. So they should be good to just fill right back up. Okay, got us a couple of beetle blasters and our beetle trap oil I get this from Man Lake the beetle trap oil and I got my beetle blasters from Man Lake as well I bought them in a box of a hundred uh, you can uh, pick these up on Amazon and there's a link below you can buy them in like uh, boxes of 10 or 12 15 a hive top feeder I got these at Man Lake they hold I'm guessing four gallons probably two gallons on each side they hold a lot so uh, I've used up all my <coughs> uh, nectar mix that I mixed up so uh, I'm gonna get some more made up and uh, I'll come back and fill this up in a little bit one bee gets in there every time <laughs> Yeah, so I needed to do a video that had a happy ending there. This is uh, beginning to get depressed, and uh, y'all are probably losing uh, confidence in me as a beekeeper after seeing all these failed hives. Jeez, I don't know what's going on. But uh, I wanted to check this one because it was uh, one of those that was on the bubble as well, but it, it seems to be doing really good. Don't know what's going on with the other things there, but uh, we got some... Uh, boxes we need to clean up and take care of but uh that's the end of this video and give me a thumbs up if you would stupid airplanes <laughs> what was i saying give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and uh, we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video y'all take care